Why is the ECB going to increase QE tomorrow with yields where they are? It makes no sense at all. Do you agree? Oh, please don't start with what makes sense. I mean, that, 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 that is, we're well beyond that. Like, we're so <laughs> far gone. I mean, you, you cannot, you, you cannot start going all rational on me. We have so many new subscribers on this call this week. I, I, I just got to, you know, for those of you who are new to this, um, please check any level of rational thought at the door. I mean, when it comes to what the central planners might do next to attempt to, uh, now that I think of it, I mean, I'm on the west side highway, it's raining. A central planner would have the audacity to jump in front of this car and say, you know what, I'm going to stop the rain today. You know, I'm, I'm going to just part, I'm going to, I'm going to start, you know, rolling back the leaves. I'm going to, I'm going to stop uh, climate change. You know, this is, <laughs> this is what these people do. This, this is what these people seriously do. This, 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 when you really peel back the onion, there is, there's nothing to eat. I mean, there, there's nothing, nothing. So, of course, you know, when it comes to the ECB doing incremental um, QE, quantitative easing. By the way, uh, God didn't come up with quantitative easing. Some ideologues from academia did. Um, you know, what, what ended up happening was, was they devalued the currencies and they eroded the purchasing power of people in those currencies. So, again, for people who are new to this, it's really simple. If your currency is worth $100 today, 100, if, if your currency has a value of, let's say, 100 on an index, and then the, the central planner says, well, yeah, I don't like that things are going down in price, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to devalue your currency to like 80. So I'll, I'll take down the value of your currency by 20 cents, well, or 20%. Your purchasing power just went down for all the things that you need to buy. So that, that, that's why quantitative easing works for asset prices, because, of course, if you're buying a loaf of bread for 100, uh, you know, you, you, okay, now people are going to say, so, well, maybe that loaf of bread is, is worth more. I mean, you know, so, so this is the whole exercise. It's called the illusion of growth. I mean, Hayek has written about this extensively. Henry Hazlitt, actually, who's kind of like I, one of my idols, uh, Henry Hazlitt, uh, if you haven't read, you know, the book, The Money Game, yeah, this is the most popular book in, in, the, in America, at least one of the most popular books in finance in the 1960s, uh, which explains these very basic facts. Uh, the problem here is that we at Hedgeye don't work for Wall Street, so you know Wall Street doesn't market us just telling people like it is. Uh, and at the end of the day, the ECB doing more quantitative easing, basically printing money to go buy European bonds that aren't around, means that those European bonds keep going up in value even if the bond yield itself is negative, which is completely, as the question rightly points out, irrational. But please check the rationality of all this at the door.